me that you can hear me, I'll proceed with my next question. I'm afraid I have no sound at my end. Okay. Uh, okay. So can I can I just try to fix that? Uh, Anita Bose, can you hear me? I'll just be louder. This is all not here. Have no sound. Can you hear me? Uh, okay, so this is a very important point in the program, and she is, viewers, my most important. Now I can hear you. Okay, great. So there is a delay, but you can hear me. So this is fantastic. I will keep my question short, and I will leave it to you. Anita Bose, my question to you is this, that with this latest report from the Central Forensic Science Laboratory of Kolkata, the debate about Gumnami Baba has resurfaced. On my program, there are several researchers. I'm afraid are... I refuse to accept this whole Gumnami Baba story. It is an insight to my father, and I'm not uh, entering into any nonsense like that. If people do not accept scientific evidence, this is their own business, but I think they are rather stupid if they don't. You can't just uh, uh, go on with a, a conspiracy story and uh, try to persuade people that all sorts of things might have happened because you don't like uh, what facts are. Why do you believe some people don't like what the facts are, as you say? Oh, that's, uh, they, that has different reasons. Some have their own acts to grind and they have their own interests in that. Some want to gain publicity by sort of warming up this nonsensical story all the time. And uh, maybe some just want to incite Neta Ji. I would not put it beyond some people. Uh, Anita Ji, last August you had sought for DNA tests to be done on the ashes kept at the Renkoji Temple in Japan to quote-unquote bring out the truth. Why do you think yes, Nabi I... Baba was not Netaji? What convinces you, if I may say so? What is that one or two? What are those fundamentally two or three things which convince you? Uh, first of all, the personality of Netaji is such that it is inconceivable that he returned anonymously hiding behind this uh, uh, curtain or a screen uh, and claiming that he lives there as a sannyasi without uh, uh, getting involved in his country's uh, affairs. And the other question is that uh, the uh, story of uh, the plane crash is a very convincing one. And I'm willing to, uh, since some people do not accept it, uh, to try for a DNA test and uh, have, have, them con uh, have them get uh, scientific uh, evidence that the remains of Renkochi are his. Uh, I'm personally quite convinced that they are, and the uh, uh, Kumnami Baba story is just an outrageous insight to Netaji. Um, Anita Ji, I respect the fact that you're coming and speaking to me about this, and please don't take it otherwise, but I need to just ask you a couple of follow-up questions. American handwriting expert Carl Baggett, with over 40 years of experience... Handwriting expert. And, and, this is, well, did they conclude something in the handwriting? They said the handwritings of Gumnami Baba and those of Netaji match, that they are the same person. Uh, does that intrigue you? Graphological evidence is most unconvincing and it, it, it is a sort of hocus pocus thing anyway. You say it's hocus pocus, but, 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 but can, I, can I therefore proceed to ask you? that among many things found in Gumnami Baba's possession were reportedly binoculars issued by German military dating back to World War II, uh, a family portrait of Netaji's parents, Jankinath Bose and Prabhavati Bose. Why would this be the case? I don't know why Gumnami Baba was interested in these things, but uh, a binocular is certainly not the, uh, the only one and only the binocular that existed in Germany. And family portraits of the Bose family are certainly also uh, uh, common enough that anyone can get them. If he was interested, then why not? You're saying that Gumnami Baba was only interested in Netaji? I don't know what, I, I, I don't know anything about Gumnami Baba. I don't know whether he was interested. But if you say that he had pictures of, uh, uh, of the Bose family, then probably he was interested in the Bose family. But, but, but the Mukherjee Commission says that the Netaji did not die in the plane crash. Uh, let me not get into the Mukherjee report right now because that's a, a story uh, on its own. 
But, but I'm just following up. Uh, French secret files also refused to buy the plane crash theory. I'm just putting some evidence before you. There was a French secret report dated 11th December 1947 at the National Archives of France, which stated that Netanyahu did not die in the plane reports, crash but had escaped from Indochina. Do you believe he could have... Question. Do you think there's a possibility, which is also, uh, you know, there is, there is evidence uh, to, to that effect, that he perhaps did not die in the plane crash, but that he managed to enter Russia? Because there is a lot of anecdotal evidence to that effect as well. Do you think that is a possibility? If I were to take the Gumnami Baba theory out, do you think that is a possibility that could be looked at? Let me put it that way. It's, uh, it's, it's less absurd than the Gumnami Baba story. Uh, but uh, since there are uh, several uh, eyewitnesses who were on the plane and survived, and uh, there are other there are family members of persons who died in the plane crash, yes. who have no problems believing in the plane crash, uh, uh, I can see that in 1946, 1947, 1948, all this evidence was not available. And uh, many of the documents were not uh, declassified at that time, so people speculated about all sorts of things. But I think uh, we had uh, inquiry commissions, too, uh, from India, which came to the conclusion that he died in the plane crash, mm -hmm. uh, some other evidence, and this sounds all quite convincing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think the eyewitness report of the doctor who, who, who saw to him uh, during his last uh, hours of life and uh, the interpreter who was there, uh, Habibur Rahman, who was there, who always kept this uh, uh, same story. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so this is, is all very convincing and everything else that has been around yeah. is pure speculation. Even the even though the, uh, the, the idea of his having gone to, uh, to the Soviet Union is, is less absurd, uh, but it's pure speculation. There's no evidence whatsoever. Uh, there is there's quite a bit of evidence uh, that the plane crash took place. Yes. Yeah, well, well uh, Anita Bose, I'd only say this uh, in the end, you know, that uh, we, we, you know, I, I said earlier, a while earlier that uh, it's... It